Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just got back from the dentist, so I'm, my mouth is feeling a little interesting right now. But um, I noticed that I was tagged in the homeschool mom tag by Candace from Homeschool on the Hill. Hi Candace, and Michelle from A Common Life. I think that the tag was started by Rachel at Day to Day Joys and I will leave all the other information for the rest of the videos that go along with this homeschool mom tag so you can check out the other mamas and all their answers to the questions. Um, I see that it's only 10 questions so I figured I could just pop in really quickly to um, see if I can answer the questions and join in on the fun. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, hi my name is Serena and I am the mama at Faith and Love Academy. So the very first question is, were you homeschooled? Simple answer, no. I had no idea that it was even a thing, so. Uh, number two, did you know you always wanted to homeschool your children? Absolutely not. Um, I enrolled my oldest, um, who was ready to enter school at the time, into school and it was only probably three weeks before starting school that I decided to homeschool. So definitely did not know that I was going to be homeschooling my children. Um, number three, what are your three favorite books in your homeschool library? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so my three favorite books, um, I just shared in a recent video what my all-time favorite children's book is, and that is in the other room, so I'm not going to go and get that, but that's, um, I know the plans I have for you, and it's just a children's book that I read to them every night. Um, the other book that I have is, this is The Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. I really love this book. We use it quite often. We also really love the 50 States book. Number four, are you the only teacher does your spouse help outsource help or tutors etc um I'm pretty much the only teacher my spouse well I take that back I am the main teacher for sure my husband helps from time to time but more like homework patrol <laughs> um, he just does things with the kids to kind of see what they're up to in school and be involved um, as far as other subjects are concerned. We get help in music from their aunt, who is my sister-in-law, but not on a regular basis. So I am basically their main teacher. What is your favorite place to buy homeschool curriculum? So my absolute favorite place to buy our curriculum is the app store, because we use a lot of apps and um, device type of curriculum. So the app store is my favorite. There is a bargain discount store called Ollie's and we love Ollie's so we get quite a few items from there and then also Amazon of course because they show up the next day and that's amazing. Number six, do you have a set budget for your homeschool? Um, kind of but not really. I try not to spend a lot of money but we do have family members who contribute to our homeschool monthly and that's kind of sort of our budget. Um, we don't use it every month per se but we kind of keep it in a bank so that if ever we need money for a field trip or um, money for any types of projects or things like that then we have a space that we can pull from for those items. What are two must-have homeschool supplies? My iPad and some type of art supply. So watercolor, crayons, markers, something like that. Number eight, what's your favorite or least favorite subject to teach? My least favorite subject to teach is history because I'm not good at history. <laughs> history is a lot of memorizing dates and I'm not good at that. So it's my least favorite to teach, which I'll probably need the most help in, but the majority of our history lessons are coming straight from the Bibles or, or some type of living book. So it's a little easier for me to teach right now. But once we get into um, American history or, or things like that, I might have a bit of trouble. So I'm gonna definitely need some help in that area. My favorite subject to teach is art, hands down. <laughs> I love teaching art because there's not many rules like there is in other subjects. 
So there's a lot of rules in math, there's a lot of rules in language arts, there's a lot of rules in writing, um, in art. I don't believe that there are a lot of rules and I really like that. Um, it's the most freedom and I like teaching it. Okay, number nine is are you involved in co-ops or homeschool groups and what has your experience been in these groups? So, um, last year we were involved in a co-op and we loved it. Uh, we only stopped because we lost a car. So we were down to one car and we haven't really been able to be consistent enough to join the group again. Um, but when we were a part of the group, it was a lot of fun. We met um, once a week and it was just a nice way for the kids to get out and hang out with other homeschool children. We'll definitely do it again as we are able to. Yeah, they had a really good experience. And then number 10 is, what is your approach? Charlotte Mason, eclectic, classical. Um, we don't have one. I'm not a fan of labels just because I feel like things are constantly changing for us and I don't like to put us in a box. I find that when I was trying to put myself into a certain approach, it, it really messed me up. So I just stopped doing that. It just didn't work for me. I am a fan of diversity in education, so I definitely do read up a lot. Um, Charlotte Mason on Waldorf, on um, unschooling approaches. I read up on them all the time because I feel like the more you read, the more you get to identify with different practices that may work for you. I guess it would be considered eclectic. I, I don't really know. I just We just learn. <laughs> we just learn. So that was it, you guys. Um, that was the 10 questions. Hopefully it wasn't all over the place. Like I said, I just wanted to be able to pop in really quickly so that I could join this tag with my girls. Um, I still need to go and watch some of the other mom's videos as well. But hopefully you enjoyed some of my answers. I think I'm supposed to tag someone at the end of this video. One great idea that I thought that Candace did was she also opened up the tag to those of you that do not make videos and I thought that was a brilliant idea because I would actually love to see answers from my subscribers. So if you have a little bit of time, I would love for you guys to answer the questions. The questions I will leave in the description box below and if you could just, you know, let me know some of your answers, I thought that would be a lot of fun. So thanks for that idea, Candice. I thought it was a great idea. Um, okay guys, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video.